Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We are in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, and we're down here at the very end today. Just verse 80. Let's read it. So the child grew and became strong in spirit and was in the deserts till the day of his manifestation to Israel. So this is what child? Well, this is the child John the Baptist. He's going to grow up and become John the Baptist. And there's a lot that we're going to hear about as we go further into the gospel about the the life and the ministry of John the Baptist and, and yes, his death. He will face a martyr's death. But notice here about the child. The child grew and became strong in spirit, and he was in the deserts till the day of his revealing his manifestation. So the parents are going to take good care of this child. Notice that he grows. He, he there, He's developing a good character. He becomes strong in spirit. This is uh, a, a spiritual child. And then we find that he's in the deserts till the day. So there's a certain amount of separation from the negative influences, negative influences in places like Nazareth and Jerusalem, uh, where you'd expect there to be, you know, in Jerusalem, all these super duper wonderful, hey, great positive influences right there at the seat of the nation, the kingdom. Uh, But many times there are very negative spiritual influences, even sometimes in some of those kingdom centers at the heart of the work Uh, And there was some of that at that time. So what? So God takes John, and he's going to be raised in the wilderness. He's going to be uh, homeschooled. (laughs) They're going to uh, have spiritual time together as a family, and much of it's going to happen sort of in a a rural setting, a very rural setting. So some of the things that would pollute and damage and bring convoluted, uh, strange thinking into the mind, many of those things are, are going away. They're not going to be there for John the Baptist And so what we have here then is uh, parents that are carefully raising their children. They're aware that there are negative spiritual influences that work side by side with the positive ones. And John is going to be raised in uh, kind of a distinct fashion, a little bit separated from some of those especially negative influences. Some ideas here maybe for us as parents, uh, those of us that still have children in the home, I do. And you know what? Uh, There are a lot of influences that are not the best. So raised in the deserts. Uh, The kids might not like it so much. John the Baptist, I don't know what he felt about it, but I'm sure that was very good for him. Let's make sure we're doing our part as parents and helping and guarding our children, especially in these uh, very intense and very difficult times. Hey, let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for your word. Thank you for the promises we're seeing in your word today. Uh, Thank you for the helps you have for parents and uh, even grandparents Help us to be the right influences on our children so that they become strong in spirit. They are spiritual children and not just echoing out, copying out the things from the world. Bless, Lord, and then use them in your purposes, just as you're going to use John the Baptist in the mightiest way in your purposes. We ask for this in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, may God uh, be our leader in every part of our life, including our parenting and maybe for some of us, our grandparenting. All right? God bless you today.